Hallo? Ja, yeah, thanks. Dank je wel, dame. Weet je niet wat er aan de kool lag? Ja, ik voel me wat. This is Lord Shorty's home. Who's sing up to the ceiling? You don't use Right, um, my name is Isaac McFarland. Can I say it? Because I make more Yes, my name is Isaac Blackman. I know I know so what happened. Yeah, man. I'm just grateful to be alive. And um, 
And it, it was a traumatic, traumatic experience for me and my children. And in children and the baby, you know, it's, it's, you know, there's no respect that person anymore. You know, this was happening in the country, you know, and moreover, I am grateful to be alive, the rain coming down. Mm -hmm. And I just tell people, you know, at the same time, you know, value your life. And, you know, but we all have to make our efforts every day to do something in this country to help and to help one another and to change the culture that is around, you know. Um, and I was always a voice for this, you know, to, to fight against the negative elements that are happening all around. So me being a victim of it right now, it's not um, it's not surprising to me too, you know, and that's really surprising knowing that so much people suffering in this country right now and a lot, need to, a lot more needs to be done about it. And, um, you know, having your own personal experience is even clear to me, but as I said, you know, me and my family was always an advocate, you know, promoting against violence, pro promoting against crime. So I just saying that, hey, I'm alive and I'm going to be even more fired up to do whatever I can to try and change this, what they call, downhill cycle that we have in our young people today, you know. People are the most valuable thing, not things. If, as this situation happened, with this damper, you from living here or... Well, I, you know, as I said, you know, I still have to discuss things with my family. You know, we go through the, the, the distress and the disturbance, you know, at the same time. But, you know, I'd have to discuss that with my family and see what's the best, what is the best decision to make, you know, mainly with the safety of, you know, my wife and children. So that's my concern about, you know, and that still has to be discussed. So I can't really give you an answer on that right now. Yes, um, give us a little insight on what is to place. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, I was advised by the officers not to disclose, disclose too much information and I leave them to, you know, do their jobs and allow things to process. So in a couple of days, they say give it a couple of days until they finish, um, just to kind of, you know, for them to, to do what they have to do. You know, but, you know, as I said, I was, what they call, I was um, held up in my home. You know, and my, my two-year-old and three-year-old children was also held up and tied up. So it was a really, really traumatic experience. So as I say, I just try to keep it cool and stay focused and do all that we could to, um, you know, just to make sure everything all right. But as I said, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm thankful that I'm alive. Oh, I, I, I think the police responded to the... Um... Yeah, man. Um, I want to thank everybody, everybody that um, support all the police, all the officers that, that, that you know, um, came through and they, they moved quickly. And they do all they could to help, and they're still doing that. And oh, everybody, all your friends and family who, who um, reach out and, and share the, the support and the love. You know, thanks everybody for the support. And um, you know, everybody was helpful in every way, and even to the people that are doing wrong. You know, find something else. There's always a better way. You know, to survive uh, in life. Um, so just, just, you know, try and find a better way to survive. You know, destroying life and distressing life. You know, would always bring a destructive end. As an artist who's been hit firsthand, would this inspire you to send a message in song sure. to the evildoers? Sure. Um, as any day, you know, is 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 not even so much. It's about it's not a product of the environment and the society we live in, into you know, and everybody is a victim in this situation from some reason or the other. Even people who commit crimes, you know, you never know what they the, what they're going through in their life what they've been through to bring them to that process. So it's, it's, a, it's a long story to understand what's really happening in the society. So it's, it's desire to, to get to the bottom of the issue, you know? And sometimes we try to stay the, ob stay the obvious and, and point fingers. And yes, we had a whole people that are responsible for what the wrongs that they do, but at the end of the day, we need to get to the root of the problem of what's causing this type of, of life to, ex you know, things to exist and continue. What is generating this level of desperation uh, in, 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 um, in, in, among our brothers and sisters in the country? Do you think it's someone who knew inside out your premises? I don't know. I have no idea. Do you think of anyone who would like to want to do this? No. Nah. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Would you like to quantify the type of items that were <laughs> targeted? I can't do that at this point in time. As I Let's said. give us a value then. Yeah. Um, I don't know, just millions. no, 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 millions. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I guess many, you know, stuff in the valuables in the house, you know, stuff, farming equipment, because that's what we do up here. Uh, musical equipment of a studio in the back, you know, as I said, you know, but um, 
the, the, the physical losses, you know, you will feel that, but I, I'm grateful for my life and that was important. Yeah. Well, I still, yeah, um, I definitely answer that, you know, Vika was recovered and, and uh, so I appreciate all the, the people that, you know, did everything that they could to make sure that it happened and, um, and, uh, and as I said, I let, I let the officers do what they need to do from there. What? I'm not quite sure. I know that we covered the vehicle so far, but I'm not sure exactly what what um. I just want to find out how how did you get in contact with the police? Um, I I break free from the restraints that I I had, and I free my children, and I walked out to my neighbor who was in his garden there, and the Ministry of Agriculture was now coming down as well, and they assisted me, you know, getting out and getting getting the necessary help I needed. When they arrived, they saw all sorts of gadgets, yeah. including no ID on the floor. Was there a struggle? Do they, do they just empty everything out of the vehicles, out of my vehicle. And like I said, they left them. They just left, took all what I had in my vehicle. Yeah. 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 Um, all the help and the support, and you know, just keep the press going and uh, keep the positive energy alive, you know, and as I said, there's so much more we could do with life, or the things that we lost physically, so much more we could do with life. And my heart is always love and respect. So everybody needs love and and they need people need you know, people need help in this country and um, that is my heart, you know. And I, I just want to share that, that love and that peace. So knowing that I mean, I'm not on no war, um, and I'm not fighting fire with fire, you know, at the end of the day we need more love more love and more um, more love in this country and that is what i'm pushing more respect more love the values that we really have and care for one another need to come back so i'm going to push that and send that message out you know that is all alfred hitchcock had a big term always expect the unexpected yes no you've had first experience yeah what steps would you put in place now to prevent a second occurrence um as I said, I um, was seeking advice on that uh, and making sure that I'm, my place is really secured, I'm secured. Everything that legally that I could do, I would do. And um, as I say, be more aware, be more conscious of what's happening. And you know, I'm motivated to move forward. And you know, when you have an experience that you know, sh shake you up, your value for life and passion for what is really important, it, it is even more stronger. So I'm very well motivated and determined to, to go further and do more, do as much as I could to try and transform and change what we have here in Trinidad and Tobago and move towards preserving the lives that we have. Do you, do you want to disclose that there was a test? No. Right. Anything else? No, man. That's it. All right. Mm -hmm.